uh, just really proud of our, our kids, the way they competed the entire night. Uh, I, I thought defensively just a, a suffocating performance by them, uh, uh, both in the run game and, and uh, Again, after the quarterback in the past game as well, tight coverage on the outside. Our coverage units were fantastic all night long, made them uh, drive long fields. Uh, proud of, of offensively uh, finding a rhythm, getting some things going, some, create some big plays in the run game, and then enough in the pass game in, in the second half. Extremely proud of, of DJ, just the way he came in, boys he played with, took care of the football, uh, missed a couple things, but then rebounded and, and found a way to make some plays as well. Uh, just, you know, typical of who he is and the way he's, uh, he's practiced uh, inside of a program really since the East Carolina game. Yeah, I, I, obviously, uh, traumatic injury uh, out on the field. Uh, all of our thoughts and prayers are, are with him right now. I'm not going to uh, discuss anything right now just uh, until medically I get more information. What did you tell the, what did you tell the team at halftime? Uh, our guys, you know, they, they, they care deeply about everybody on our football team and, and, and certainly McKenzie uh, as well. Uh, you can tell by their reaction, wanting to be over near him, by him, um, support him with everything that was going on uh, in that moment. Um, it's hard. And uh, I'm proud of our kids, just the resiliency to, to come back from something like that that happens and, and continue to play football because this game didn't matter and, and our performance, the, you know, the next two and a half quarters matter. Um, and uh, I'm proud of the, the way they finished the ball game. Obviously, all of our thoughts and prayers are, are with McKenzie at this time. What did you see out of that play? And what was drawn to what do you mean, what From your going, angle, uh, I mean, what did it uh, It was read zone. What was your initial thoughts when you went through your head when you saw the injury the first time? I, I mean, I still, I mean, I'm on the far sideline, so I haven't seen the, the injury first firsthand as far as how it uh, unfolded during the course of the play. Uh, when I went over them, the doctors are around them. Um, my immediate concern is, is one, just his well being, and, and two, his, uh, his mental state as well. And, and uh, just told him that I love him. Was it hard for you to stay focused? Did you get right back to the game? Your thoughts continue to be with the kid when he's going through something like like he's going through. Uh, at the same time, I, I thought our entire football team uh, was able to, to put enough thought uh, into uh, to what we were doing to go execute and go play well. What did you say to him when you went to I just said I love him and, uh, you know what I mean, that's really it, you know what I mean? What did he say? Uh, he, he was, you know what I mean, aware and, and uh, said the same thing back. I'm proud of you of Max performance coming in, stepping up for, to get the win. Really proud of, of what he did tonight. I think that's indicative of, of really just the, the way he's been inside of our program, in particular since uh, he was, uh, uh, you know, he had his opportunity against East Carolina. Uh, he's practiced with great purpose. Uh, he's been really decisive with the football, taking great care of the football in, in practice, and, and I thought he saw all those things out there tonight. Did a good job in the run game as well. What about your confidence in him moving forward? Uh, sure, we'll be ready to go play. Um, this is a team game, and, and uh, uh, again, everybody inside of that locker room uh, is thinking about McKenzie uh, at this time. Um, at the same time, we'll, we'll push forward and we'll be ready to go play next week. What does it say about your defense that they've been able to put together two straight weeks of solid uh, performance, just, especially tonight? Yeah, uh, rising. They have rose to the occasion. Um, we're playing great team defense. Uh, everyone's playing assignment sound. Uh, it starts with our guys up front. They've penetrated, played on the other side of the line of scrimmage. In the run game, they've created pressure on the quarterback, uh, made it tough on him, and, and then we've played tight coverage on the back, back, back end as well. We have tackled really well uh, the last couple of weeks. It's been a big key as well. What do you say about Greg McRae tonight? Uh, just it continues to, to play uh, and, and execute. And, and do the little things at such a high level. Um, he's had huge, huge ball games and, and created big, big running lanes. Guys up front are doing a great job. Wide, guys on the perimeter, wide receivers as well, tight ends. Um, but he's doing a great job pressing the line of scrimmage, understands what we're trying to accomplish and, and, and helps deliver those guys to the blocks. Coach, your first year at UCF, your first year as a head coach, and you have a perfect regular season. Can you just, your thoughts on that? Uh, this team game, uh, I told the players in there, uh, tonight was just really indicative of, of you know, what we are made up of is individuals inside of our locker room and how that uh, allows us to be the type of team that we are. Uh, we're resilient, we're mature, uh, we continue to fight, and we do it the right way. We play for one another. It's a lot of fun. It's a privilege to, to, to come and coach these guys every day. The best part of my job, and, and there's a lot of great things at UCF, but the best part of my job is getting an opportunity to work with these young guys every day. Do you admire their strength? I mean, to be able to play and dominate? I, I admire a lot of things. They're, they're mature. 
Uh, they continue to compete. They love one another. And, uh, you know, that culture, some of that existed while I was here. We're continuing to build on those things. And um, just really proud of, of who, and what they, uh, who and what they are, but what they've done, you know, since I've gotten here in, in December. Couple more minutes here. Josh, Josh McKinn. It was, almost, it was almost like a home game. There were so many fans here. Can you just talk about the fans and how they really showed up tonight? Yeah. The passion that resides for UCF football is really unique, in my opinion. How young this program is and how passionate our fan base is, the way it's going to continue to grow with the size of our school. It's just an exciting time for me uh, to be in the midst of, of what I consider the most unique uh, football program in college football. It's a really exciting opportunity. Did the team need motivation from the coaches or did they pull themselves together to stay focused at the same time? Nah, our players, I mean, they care about McKenzie and like truly love him. And, and not just McKenzie, they love one another. Um, and they care deeply about one another. Um, at the same time, when, when he was carted off, our guys flipped the switch and said, we got, we got a game to still go play and, and uh, we have a job to do. Let's go do it at a high level. Last one. I'm just really proud of him. Josh, will you go home or will you go to the hospital? Uh, you, have, you have Memphis next week. Is it easier that you played them already? Or? Uh, these two programs have played a lot of football against each other in the last you know, two years. So I have great respect for, for the coaching staff. They play really hard on both sides of the football. Obviously, offensively, they've got a unique weapon in their running back. Um, we have to corral him in, in a week. Um, but we're going to enjoy this one tonight. It's a big game for our program, in state rivalry game, trophy game. Uh, we're going to enjoy this one and then we'll push forward. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.